But anyway, what's the next movie? Um, that is Nico's pick, The Descent. Ooh. The Descent. Now, boys. The Descent is a film about women, okay? Women finding their womanhood. Bro! Right? The worst part, they're British as well. I'm sorry, I didn't know that going into this one. So, The Descent is about a oh, lady, okay? She's a, she's a blonde woman, and she gets into a car accident with her husband, and he unfortunately dies, okay? It's very sad. It's very traumatic for her. She starts to see a hallucinate in a little bit, because, like, you know, it, it was a horrific event for her, man. It was a horrific event. And so her girls uh, decide, you know what, we're going to have a little girls trip, help you forget about all that kind of stuff. Oh, well, we enjoy, like, you know, getting exhilarated and shit like that. So we're going to go and we're going to explore a cave, okay? We're going to explore a cave. And so initially they were going to be exploring this one cave, but one of her friends, Juno, or is it Jane? I don't remember. It starts with a J. She decides, hey... Uh, unbeknownst to them, I'm gonna have us go into an unexplored cave. That'll be crazy. That's where the excitement is. Shh, don't tell them, though. Don't tell them. And in doing so, it really fucks them up, okay? Because this cave is dangerous, and they were just not fucking prepared for this shit. So pretty quickly, uh, their way out collapses, and they now need to just keep traveling deeper and deeper into the cave so that they can figure out how to, the hell to get out of this place. And it's pretty daring spooky. And... As time goes on, uh, they realize that they're, they're not the only ones in this cave, guys. They're not the only ones in here. Yeah, so apparently some old humans ended up being in this cave, and they evolved into some uh, strange cave dweller creatures. And now they're ravenous for these fine young women, and they start fucking devouring them. They just start getting picked off pretty quick, okay? They, they, these women really don't fucking stand a chance. However, yeah, over time, they start to figure out, hey... We can fucking beat these guys, okay? Me and Jane here, we got this. Easy peasy. And they start fucking taking these guys out. However, in all the commotion, Jane ends up killing one of the other people. And oh boy, that's no good. And so she runs off. Uh, Our main girl, she ends up finding that girl. And she's like, Jane killed me. She doesn't actually speak. But she gets the message. And so she goes over. She murders Jane. She finds a way out. And she gets out of the cave. Or does she? The end. Mm -hmm. This is just an overall better movie than the cave. <laughs> I'm very happy to hear that, Dylan. Yeah, I, I made that. I made that connection very early on in the movie. I was like, surely, because I've heard of this movie. Because I think it's like in recommended. Like if you've watched the cave, it recommends the descent. And I've just I think heard this it. movie came out the exact same. Yeah, year they as the came cave out the same well. year. <laughs> yeah, so people are always like, yeah, just like the descent is just a better version of the cave. Uh, and I have, I, I will agree with that statement. However, I still have my gripes with this movie. I'll agree so. with that statement I made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this hey, movie yeah. was pretty dang good. So, like, even, uh, like, before the fucking monsters show up, we get, like, uh, this really oppressive atmosphere in the cave, okay? Because, uh, hot take, caves are fucking scary as is, Okay. And them just, like, fucking yeah. uh, navigating this cave is pretty terrifying. Like, when that one girl gets stuck, the the way they fucking frame the, this area is, like, so fucking tight, okay? And so you just really get really fucking claustrophobic. And it's really dark. You can barely see anything. She, she's just stuck, dude. And it's really intense. Like, you know, I, like, I was having trouble breathing during the whole part. And then when they finally got free, who boy, I was finally able to uh, start inhaling a bunch. There's also, like, a lot of emotional context, like, behind that scene. And, like the descent within the cave itself is like insane considering the girls were like openly infighting and as you mentioned i love this movie i love this fucking movie uh they were infighting the whole time like the 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 descent in the cave was supposed to be for one girl and then she got stuck and she was depending on the group and so, and they didn't really, they couldn't leave her, you know, like, the whole emotion, the whole emotion of, like, the act of descending into the cave, you guys have to be, like, on the same page, you have to be a team, you can't have, uh, you know, cheated with one girl's husband, you can't, you just, there are things <laughs> you're not allowed, and it's so written on the wall that they're gonna fail, that watching them sort of struggle through it, and then later even succeed in some parts is like rewarding like you get the sense that like holy shit these girls might be the worst thing for this cave like they're their biggest enemies and then the weird shit starts happening <laughs> the, the, the skulls and creatures start coming yeah, exactly. out of nowhere one thing i really like about this movie 
is that like you don't get like introduced to, to like these creatures until like fucking halfway through however yeah. if you're like observant you'll see them like every now and then throughout the film as well like i know that i saw them at one point tanner saw them at like, a totally different point and they were like we just didn't see like each other's sections either like you know you start to get the inkling of like oh uh they're not alone in here are they <laughs> yeah Which i think is really um... cool one thing, I'm, I can only assume there was the first time earlier on in the cave when she's, like, scanning the walls, and she sees, like, that black figure sticking out from behind a rock. Yeah. I, I'm, I don't that's know which one That's the one, one I saw. So that's the one you saw. And I was like, okay, that's something, but also, this woman is psychologically deranged, so I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, and then, yeah, then there's, like, the other time when, like, that one Holly chick, like, just decided, like, oh, there's daylight, and falls down a hole and breaks her leg. Uh, and then she, like, hears a noise, which is also weird because it's children laughter, which also just plays into the psychological warfare of this movie. Uh, and then ends up finding, like, the white pasty figure, and I was like, okay, more confirmation, but also nobody else has seen them. Still psychological warfare on the audience right now, so there's no way to know if these are actually things that are going to kill them. Uh, Honestly... I kind of, and this is going to be shocking considering uh, wh what I was saying while we were watching the movie, I wish they leaned more into the psychological side and it didn't just turn into like an action movie basically with monsters at the end. I thought, I thought it started getting silly and honestly kind of bad when we started doing that shit where they were just literally fighting these things with their pickaxes and shit. Uh, I think it would have been better if they did like a... Uh, did like an alien where there's only one of them and it's really evasive or yeah, something gonna, like I that. I mean, I'm super with Tanner on this one too. I was going to say, I really enjoyed the first third of this movie. Um, a lot of the setup, mostly just like them going through the cage. And there's definitely some other parts in it. Um, maybe even like the first half of the movie, I enjoyed a lot. Um, but once the monsters really started getting involved, it really took quite a bit of a nosedive for me. Just because it completely kind of like, I'm not going to say completely, but it threw away a lot of what I liked about the first half of it. Because yeah, like Tanner said, it kind of just turned into a fucking action movie where they're they're running around, they're like head on with the monsters, which is kind of cool. You don't really see that that much in horror movies, so I can respect them trying to be different with it. But I really just don't think it works that well, especially because these are just like some regular ass fucking women. No offense. Um, and suddenly now they're fucking fighting off hordes of these fucking hell spawn in this cave huh well, a, lo a lot of it was a lot of yeah a lot of it had to do with like trauma yeah it was really only two of them doing the most damage yeah the rest of them immediately got murdered yeah, yeah one basically. of them was juno who was like supposed to be this strong figure but really was like weak as fuck like you're stereotypical like it was like and I maybe I didn't see it like that, but I, I saw it more as like there was a little bit of psychological shit going on because they were definitely fucking superheroes and she wasn't no one was acting like they were watching their friends die, really? Because like it it, it sure it's hard to distract, you know you kill one, two, three of them they still killed three of your friends. You know, they're still like in the cave celebrating, talking and laughing. They're in this fucked up situation, but I thought that sort of leaned into the to the whole trauma aspect of the movie, where in these situations is when they are better, when they are like you got to see who who could handle it, who was who was normal. Like she wasn't normal after watching her husband die. Yeah, yeah, she's not like the other girls. But True. I do. I do want to interject because this is, has immediately to do with what Tanner injects and we're talking about. I 100% disagree. I, in fact, have a 180 degree viewpoint of what you guys said. Whereas I thought the first third of the movie was kind of meh uh, due to just bad CGI in general. What do you mean bad uh, CGI? Where? Dude, that cave, so fucking fake. No, there were... I, that part I'd where they were climbing on the rocks, you could so see the wires. The, yeah, bats. Well, the bats, are the bad. bats were bad. The bats, bad. bad. The bats uh, did look yeah. bad. <laughs> let me. See, I'm trying to. Let me see if I can describe this scene. And have you guys remember? It was like the part where they got to the br the first big opening. Not like when they descended. Like after they crawled through the thing, and then the big opening. There was like that part where there's there's the one lady who's standing, and she's like real, obviously. But like everything behind her just looks like green screen backdrop, and you can tell like 100 percent like that. I don't know, like, the the CGI, in my opinion, in this movie was bad. Like, the green screen, or whatever you want to call it, you could, it was not, it was not fitting. 
Um, I think I know what he's talking about, but I kind of disagree. I have no idea what he's talking about, so... I'll, I'll see if mo- I can find snippets, he's, but... When they're in the first, like, big chamber, they do, like... And they the throw way a flare. S- they do, like, the way the, uh, the, like, Star Wars prequels would handle big rooms where it's just people in front of a blue screen. Yeah. That's not, though. It's an they- actual set. Oh, if it was an actual set, then... It did not look real. I thought it looked very all. real. I thought the entire area did look like a whole-ass cave the entire time. If I, I'll go back, I'll scrub back through the movie and screenshot and show you what I'm talking about, but it did not look real to me. There were, there were a I, couple... I'd believe either of you guys, but I don't think it looked bad, so... Yeah, I was, gonna, I was gonna say, I thought the set was probably one of the better parts of the movie for me. It all looked... No! Just, it looked like a fucking real-ass cave. Yeah. No, 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 yeah, like, I think there, there are definitely, like, the parts in this where there's actually, like, cave environment. The environmental tone, or whatever you want to call it, was very very well set up. I liked the way that they used... Uh, not gonna get nerdy. I just liked the way they set up the environment. I thought it was very good. I thought the movie picked up when they introduced the threat because that's what I was waiting for the entire movie because I wanted to confirm my suspicions. I was like, all right, this movie's either a psychological horror and like these people are just gonna die by natural cave happenings where like they fall off a cliff or they cave get crushed happenings. In, yeah they get they 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 get crushed in some rocks you know something they hit their head whatever or there's going to be an actual physical threat in this movie and then like how many people are going to die is what i was thinking uh, and also the costume design in this i think was like phenomenal i thought the the cave creatures looked really good um the sound effects they weren't super generic like, obviously, sound effects from movie to movie are kind of just reused, and they change them up here and there. I thought the sound effects for the creatures in this movie were really good. Um, and then, I guess, to break this off in the last third, I didn't 100% like the ending. That's just me. I figured I didn't you wouldn't. I think the it. Tanner also wasn't a huge fan of it, either. Yeah, so this movie kind of did a weird thing where it started off kind of meh, and then it hit a peak, but then it also, it kind of, like, tapered off and it didn't finish strong for me so but i mean other than that yeah i i i think yeah i don't know yeah 100 percent anticipated that sort of feeling from you where like once it became more of an action movie that's where you became much more interested in it uh <laughs> I've de- I I fall somewhere more in between the middle of like you two groups there where uh, I really really enjoyed the first part of it where they're just like kind of trying to navigate this cave. I still enjoyed the part where the monster showed up as well. I didn't think it was fucking bad at all, but like it, yeah, at times it was like okay, I uh, let's kind of uh, they're tr- just trying to survive some monsters. Let, let's kind of wrap this up now. <laughs> I I get where this is going, uh, but yeah, overall I thought it was totally fine. The one big thing. I think rang a bit hollow for us while we were watching at the very least was there was in fact a big reveal by the way uh one of the big reasons aside from like you know Juno murdering that one girl uh, another reason why she like you know fucking capped her was because it was also revealed that Juno also slept with her husband and they were cheating (laughs) That's a that, that's a big thing that happened. I don't think was entirely clear when we were watching it. Yeah, I I definitely felt the implication from the beginning of the movie. It's the uh, implication. Yeah. So I I it, also it, didn't like the fake out. I mean, that was fine I, yeah, that's it. that's what I said. I didn't I didn't like that. Like I was okay with like she got out because I actually I found out there was a second there's a sequel to this movie and I read the synopsis of the of the movie and the ending that we got doesn't match the the synopsis to the next movie so then i'm like yeah so okay, the ending you- uh that we got here this is like the intended ending okay this is like the actual one that they were going with however later they were like okay let's just fucking chop that part off there it just ends when she gets okay. spooked like ah but like she actually did make it out of the cave in the sequel however also the sequel is apparently really fucking bad so I don't that care about that ending. That, no, that's fine. I just, yeah, <laughs> I'm I just saying. Like... I personally prefer the ending where she did get out of the cave and then she drove away and then she fucking, yeah. you know, broke down. Eh, I like it more the idea that like, yeah, she she's still in the cave. Okay. But like, in addition to that, because so, here's where I needed the pieces to be put together just a little bit more for it to be a good ending. Because obviously she woke up in the cave, but she was right next to a fire. The fire was her little torch thing that definitely is burning for way too long. Because we have our usual case of main character makes a torch and burns for way longer than it should. That sounds um, fucking nitpicky. I don't care about that. Anyway, I, I just wanted to... That edit. sounds like it's, some it's, fucking cinema sins bullshit. So are we just gonna... Are we just... Yeah, it was. Uh, are we... 
when when are we assuming it picks up for when she wakes up? Is that like when she falls for the very last time? And then, because I, I think before all that, she like wakes up and sees like the the ascension into light, right? I think that was the part we rewound back to in that version. Is that correct in my remembering? It's just some you know undetermined amount of time. We don't know. Okay, well, I'm just trying to figure out where we went back to and how much of the ending was hallucinated by um, Yeah, her. I don't think she ever actually so. got out of the cave. No, I yeah. know, but the, that's not what I'm saying. The I think the thought process is, like, after she watched all her friends die, she she freaked the fuck out. Yeah, maybe. I yeah. did... I but did wanna... uh, in my head canon, her and her, her, all her friends beating up all the fucking cave dwellers is all her being passed out and imagining herself like fucking, you know, being heroic. But no, she's uh, fucking dead as fuck. So I guess it's left up to interpretation how, yeah. where she, where she passed out. I will say one thing I did want to note because I did verbally say this out loud I liked the shot of her climbing up the incline of bones. I thought that was a very neat shot. I, th- I enjoyed that very much. That was a piece of cinematography I liked. It represents her climbing on the corpses of her friends so that she could escape. So, Jackson, how about you? You haven't said too much else about this film. <laughs> there just aren't a lot of opportunities to jump in, you know? It's a wall of talking for 10 minutes Sorry, straight. Sorry, man. My bad. Um... Yeah, I mean, I think I already said my piece mostly with it. I thought it was pretty solid overall at the start. I wasn't a huge fan of when it turned kind of action movie. I definitely would have preferred it more if I went into the psychological stuff more. Obviously, I, I like the interpretation TNG has with it, where a lot of it is, like, entirely psychological. Like, this is just some fucking shit that she's, you know, going at her insane ravings about, basically. Like, nothing's, like, truly happening, maybe. Uh, I wish they leaned on to that more. I think the ending is fine. Overall, I'm not I'm not positive or negative about it. I think if anything, it's probably more positive just because it really leans into her being fucking crazy, and she's just like imagining what she wants to have happen, and then she kind of like snaps back into reality that that's not what's going on. She's still stuck down there. Yeah. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty positive on the movie. I would say generally. Okay. But what are you ranking what it? What are you ranking? Uh, I gave it a B plus. B plus. That's crazy. I'm also giving it a B plus. That's bonkers. Uh, I like this movie a bit more than you guys do. I'm gonna give it an A. <sighs> Damn it. You ruined it, Nico. Say la vie. Because I also gave this movie a B plus. Whoa. You contrarian, you. Um, too bad. Tanichi, if you were to rank this movie, what would you give it? B plus. <laughs> okay. Woo! <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Nico. And so what's the rating it's gonna be getting here, Jackson? Probably A minus. B- Whoa. I don't believe you. Wait, what? Crazy. A minus. Wait, no, 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 no. How does that make sense? It rounds. Oh, he up. said A minus. I thought he said B minus. Like he was just being a little oh. silly. <laughs> I was about to say nobody gave it anything lower than a B plus. Oh, okay. How is that possible? Dill also heard B minus. Did you say B minus or did you say A minus, Jackson? I'm pretty sure I said A minus. Okay. Maybe I said B minus. I, I think you. <laughs> I didn't hear A minus. We had a Mandela effect in live person. I heard it, so you guys are all just retarded. Well, there you go.